Hi, first grade friends. It's Mrs. Davis here with your writing lesson for today. We are on, let's see, Thursday. Yes. All right, my friends, we have been taking a look at our mentor text this week, helping us in our writing. We've read and listened to, I will not read this book. We are really going to focus on this main character, this little boy who does not want to read, and think about how we can convince him to change his mind. So one thing we'd like to take a look at first is our elements of opinion. When we are writing our opinions, how we feel in our heart, here are some things that we are going to be making sure to include in our writing. First up is an introduction. This is where you state your opinion. You're telling your opinion. Then the body. The body is where you support your opinion with reasons, maybe some facts and examples. Then comes the conclusion. This is where we wrap it up. Restate your opinion. You also might want to include a source writing where your information is from. So here's an example. This friend has written their opinion. Eating fruit is good. Remember, that's an opinion. Some people might not like fruit. Here's the body where they give their reasons. Fruit helps your body grow. Fruit tastes yummy. The conclusion, wrapping it up by restating your opinion. They said, eating fruit is good for you and fruit tastes good. And then they gave the source. They took a look at a book called Eat Fruit written by May King. So those are the elements of opinion writing. We'll make sure to include them in our own writings. So here's what we're going to begin working on today and the rest of this week. Our writing prompt says, write a letter to the boy in the story telling him that he should read a book that you have chosen for him. Some tips as we're preparing our writing. Think about your audience. What do you know about the boy? Use what you know about the boy to pick a book that he would like. Give your opinion about what book he should read. Support your opinion with reasons and examples. And then conclude by stating your opinion again. So that's our goal for this week and probably a little bit of next week too. So what I'd like for us to do today is to make a list, generate a list of your favorite books. You get to pick your top three favorite books. We did a little bit of planning on this when we came up with lists of books that have made us laugh out loud or books that made us feel like we were going on an adventure. So think back on your books that you enjoyed, that you really loved so much that you read so you're going to write the title of three of those books. Ms. Davis has included a link for you if you'd like to print out this page. You can also make a list very easily in your notebook or on your paper. I've written down three of my favorite books. I said, Don't Eat Your Classmates. That was one we read earlier in the year. Pirates Past Noon. Oh, that's a great Magic Treehouse chapter book and Dragons Love Tacos, three of my favorites. So today, writers, make sure to work on your list of your three favorite books, and we'll come back together tomorrow and see what are we going to do with these books. We'll talk about it tomorrow. All right. Happy writing.